Today's video, we're gonna duel off against one of the biggest talkers I have ever dueled against that was just trying to like disrespect your boy, the thank god. Take this fight on two weeks notice with me, motherfucker, and I'll whoop your ass. Two weeks, three weeks, I tell how, <laughs> I butchered your face. I KO'd you, you were curled up like a bitch. You were curled up like a bitch. You were curled up like a bitch. Like, a bitch. like And we gotta get our revenge, we gotta get our get back. You know, cause he's just talking smack. So today we're gonna duel against the biggest shit talker ever. And man, kinda hurt my feelings. But that's why we're gonna bully him together. Just kidding, don't bully him. According to him, he has multiple regional tops. So he's a very scary gentleman. Anyways, let's get straight into this video, guys. Before we do, Beautiful Malice versus Ryzeo Playmat. Get yours right now. They're just about sold out, I would assume. This is still Friday as I'm doing this video, Friday morning. But I'm just assuming they're already sold out. But go check out down below, because if they're on the website, they're still there. This is the next three months. And if you see me in YC's Anaheim, I'm going to have a truckload of them. A massive amount, that's right. I'm coming with a truck on the airplane. What are they going to do with it? Oh, my vice is going to hand the airplane will do anything. Sorry, Air Canada. So if you guys want to pick it up for YCS Anaheim, I will literally have it on me on the Friday. So let me know. Anyways, let's get straight into this video. And yeah, also, there's a VIP version of the plane map. You guys know I love Striker Malice, and that's the deck I'm playing in this video. So there's going to be a Sky Striker Mobilize Engage on the Malice side, and there's going to be a Shark card on the Rise Hill side. Those are my two little fun ways to play the deck that I really love after testing it for so long. If you don't want to play the decks uh, the average way, I like it. So if you guys wanted the VIP version, there'll be only 25. I'm convinced those are sold out. Just message on the thing if you want it. All right, let's go duel this shit talker. Randall from Recess, let's go. This is gonna be hilarious. I'm playing the best deck in the planet. He's playing this. This is a little bit version of the, little bit different version of the deck I showed yesterday, but this Malice Striker deck is extremely powerful. Same thing, same idea. Sign at Backdoor is the one card I added, which is actually really good in this deck. It's the secret tech that no one plays. Sign at Backdoor, I'll explain as I continue with my combo, and I'll stop when my opponent talks shit so we can make fun of him. Target one Cybers you control, banish it! Cybers, add a Cybers from your deck to your hand whose attack is lower. During the stamp, next stamp, during your next stamp phase, bring it back. It's like SP as well. Quick play spell. So when your opponent imperms your card, Veil is your card, Ghost Mourn is your card, Ghost Ogre is your card, you just chain sign it back. It will resolve. Ready? It will resolve, but then it also gets banished. It doesn't just resolve. It doesn't just get banished to trigger all the malice effects. Ready? It adds another Cybers. So it could add your Dormouse, which is something that gets to your whole engine. So if you already went through that, it gets through White Rabbit or etc. etc. Treshire Cat. And all of them can get Code of Soul, because Code of Soul is 500 attack, and Dotscape is zero. So it actually just works so well synergy wise, where when your opponent hand traps one of your malice cards, you banish it, trigger the malice, and you add. So you trigger the effect if they hand trap it, you banish it to get the spe free special summon, <laughs> bro, and you add a free extender. It's nuts. And Code of Soul. It's all because of Code of Soul. I think Code of Soul is the best layered interruption in the deck. To be able to have Code of Soul in the graveyard as your opponent plays, so they don't know what's coming as an interruption that they cannot prepare for. It's like Nightmare Griffin hitting the board in the main monster zone while he has two cards in hand. He can't hold it. He already used Aggregator, right? So Ryzeal would get destroyed. Malice as well. Griffin is very good against many things, so, except for Malice, but you'll figure that out a little later. So here, I'm going to use Code of Soul, uh, sorry, Sign of Backdoor, and that's where the shit talk starts. Code of Soul, this is amazing right here. I need the Code of Soul. It's gonna give me a layered interrupt that's gonna be way too much for him. And here it comes, you ready? My name is 24 YC of Champ. 100 slash zero, ready for this shit talker? It's us versus him, ready? Or you ain't winning no YCS. Let me remove my face for a bit. So look at this, okay? Or you ain't winning no YCS, we'll sign it back from your malice list. All right, we'll let that go, because it was the first one, and it wasn't bad, he's just talking smack at the boards, right? I'm like, okay, Mr. 100 slash zero. I'll let that go for this one. So I'm like, sure, be nice. I'm like, let's bet your bank count. All right, I wasn't nice. All right, we'll bet all three, though. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Now we're one, one. It's equal. Now we're just boys just having a little fun, like, shit talk as we're playing. Uh, no problem. Bro, I'm not hating. I'm trying to put you on. 100 slash, oh, yeah. Oh, he's a YC champion here. Is your name 24 YC champion? It's okay. We'll get to you, buddy. I'm like, it's low-key nice. I'm trying to put him on. It's high-key ass. 
You're fighting words, bro. You can't be talking shit and not beating me. If you're gonna talk shit, at least beat me. I want my full combo. I have eight cards in my hand, by the way. I have eight cards. Sorry. Now I have eight cards. Ah, ah. Totally forgot. I have talents. I would have nine cards if you had played a hand trap. You didn't hand trap me once. My board's gonna be on break. I have about nine interruptions on this turn. I didn't have so many spells on hand and discarded them. So, I guess it's pretty damn good. <laughs> right? Anyways. So I'm gonna let him, uh, like, kind of have his moment. I had an option. I could have put Code of Soul on the, on the grave, but I want my Widow Anchor and Shark in him live. This is how you play the Striker deck. And with just one link. It could be anything. <clears throat> because you're going to summon so many cards to the field through the Malice cards, it's irrelevant. You're literally just going to Code of Soul them after. And I'm going to drop out the Code of Soul from my hand, so it doesn't matter if it's uh, in my hand or grave. So he starts with this. This could be like, okay, so I'm letting it go. Let's continue with the duel. And I want you guys to see and tell me if I was merited for talking a little shit. Because look at what he's talking bear shit already. Okay, so anyways, I'm letting him play. I can stop many of these things. I expected them to be bluffs this set. Because if you set one trap, I assume it's real. Set three spell. I'm fucking your bluffing. Bro. I thought he was bluffing. But I was like, you know what? I'll let it go. I have so many interrupts. And it's not just Droplet, TB11, Widow, uh, Shark Cannon. But the second that GW GWC gets resolved is... Wait, where's GWC? Oh, I remember. I was going to Code of Soul to special. That so Code of Soul is my plan to summon the Link 3. That's my plan to not play into Nib. If he Nib me in the last turn, I kept playing. That was my strategy. I want a good thing versus Nib. I'm playing smart. If you play no hand trap against me, I'm ready to kill something. I steal the, the Haggard here because I do not want him to even get a Link 2. And I want to just start like, using my Encrypt so many. You're going to summon these three. Like, it's still fine. You go straight into that. I'm like, that's not resolving. This is what we're going to do to stop it. You ready? I'm gonna go TB11. At this point, I'm like, okay, I just want the card on board. You know, I can bounce it up like, eventually. I'm gonna get rid of the gate that. You're gonna chain TB11. Good play there. I want to start putting more cards on field because I want to start linking on his turn and doing plays. I have a Crypto. I have a Link 1 and Link, link, link 3 is kind of Link 1 or Link 3. Or, although, yeah, Link 1 or Link 2. So I'm gonna, with those, Nate, my White Barringer, my Firewall. I'm gonna have all these cards on the field. Look, I have a full board. I cannot Cheshire Cat here, ignore that. This is in the middle of the dueling. Full everything, can't do anything. I have two sets, can't do anything. Then he's like, yeah, I'd let him know, you know, I'm excited out, I'm going second. The Imperm Baylor, Michael Corner, what cards you lose. I'm okay, I'll let it go. And now here, here's where it gets crazy, ready? Bro, you name yourself YCS champion, and you don't even know how properly somebody works. I summoned Cryptor back with the thing, because this is my first time that I banished Cryptor from this thing. I. I just, whatever, I thought it was a proper Link Summit. It's one of the first duels I did with this. Ready? I'm very nice to him. Bro, you name yourself YC Champion, you don't know how popular Link Summoning works? Plus, stop acting like that. This is a fun duel on Unrated. This is not a, like... And he starts with, you ain't winning on YC, so we'll sign it back to him. Who hurt you? Then I'm like, okay, that's it, I'm gonna destroy this guy. I'm not gonna, I don't take no disrespect. You play no hand traps, you got fucking obliterated, I want 10 cards plus, plus that, okay. You have zero wins on this website? Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I have multiple regional pops. Oh, we got a bounce over here, guys. It's multiple regional pops. Oh my god, I'm not even worthy to do it. You have multiple regional pops? Bro, I have multiple regional wins. I have 30 plus regional pops. <laughs> what the fuck? Like. <laughs> How'd you talk to us? You're fucking ass. What the fuck? Bro, I'm not worthy, bro. Oh my god. There's more shit talk. Keep going, bro. There was more, bro. We didn't even start yet. I 4 0 him, by the way. We played four matches. What 4 0? <laughs> <four -0. laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Okay, let's get back to the duel. It's a fun little, uh, you know, just dealing with the little shit talker. I'm still, like, bro, he is a regional, multiple regional top champ, bro. You talk. Guys, you top multiple regionals, he must be top 64 multiple 67 player regional events. Wrong one, my bad. No problem, regional champion. <laughs> Joy Banish, you know. You tried reward. <laughs> okay, bro, I'm the, the, I know I'm not worthy, bro. You're the best. I'm just saying, why are you in my back like this? At this point, bro, I should have literally why am I on your back? Bro, the only way I'll be on your back is as I fuck you in this duel. That's the only time I've been on your back. 
you are not worthy to even be in my video or to do me on a rated. You suck, bro. <laughs> bro, I was about to go off. I'm like, bro, I'm laughing so hard. I'm like, bro, you're being the dick. <laughs> bro, whatever. Anyways, okay. <laughs> bro, I'm just playing. Why is this serious? Chill out. I'm not being mean. I'm playing. Future chat. I have 20 more regional tops to do, but continue. Bro, I'm blasting Natasha Bedingfield unwritten. I was playing, laughing at this. I literally told you to hear me. But we don't talk about Anyways, let's kill his ugly board. And it's very fun to beat an opponent that pops a little smack. Because as you're beating an opponent that pops a little smack, it's like extra, like, conquest in your mind. It's like, you know, you're not your place to fuck shit again, you know? Look, Duster, this is why you play Breaker version. White Binder, that's not resolving. Not today. Do I let him resolve it? That's how you know I'm. This was when I was new to the deck. So that was that was the very easy, the easiest droplet. Oh, yeah, bro, what the fuck? That was a droplet. Send these talents win. I never got the problem. That was awful. I should have stopped it. But in my you know what my thought process was? I'm gonna let him summon everything. I do not care. I'm gonna let him summon everything. The banish one is gone. Summon whatever you want. That was my thought process. But I still wouldn't negate it. And I'm just gonna ask this for this whole field so it's irrelevant. I'm just gonna obliterate the board, but there was a case to just drop blitz, but I'm like, whatever. It literally doesn't matter. I'm gonna drop blitz now, get rid of all the negates. Okay, goodbye. Now it's just, oh, I'm playing with him too. This is all like, just playing with him. I'm gonna take his mag and activate it in case I wanna add a dragon to my extra deck back to my hand. And then sign in mining. Now, bro, this is game over. Game over. Gonna access code him soon. Yeah, access code. <laughs> it's great. Access code is. But in all the Malice games I watch, people are not using Access Code as they should. Access Code says resolve any Malice from your graveyard you like. Like the Link ones that are Link 3. And destroy cards in the opponent's field. Bro, card Link to resolve our Ransom. Resolve other ones. Go Splash Mage later. You can resolve Access Code by banishing 6. Splash Mage is water. Azalea pop one. Talons look at hand. Sure, something. You can throw all you want. Maybe I should have forgotten I'm playing around the Druid one. I don't care. I knew he had it, but I don't care. Firewall, yeah, action again, pop again, summon, pop, bounce, bounce it out. <laughs> Bro, it's too much. Splash mage. Yep. Splash mage, hello. Summon. I'm just taking some stuff back because I don't give a shit. Pop both. Like 8600. Drawing MPP sucked there. Bro, you just sucked, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro had everything. Like, he was like, oh. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'm 4 0 again, just not the ruin the what's gonna happen, but look at my hand, guys. The Malice Record deck is insane. He had four Malice boards. The amount of this deck is incapable of losing the, the full rising board. It's gonna beat a full Malice board like 75% of the time, 80% of the time, depending on what you have. If you have a hand like this, or the last hand, or every hand, like every hand was like, beating 80% of the time. Like, that's pretty damn good, you know? The thing that you lose to is just mind skin. It's not cool. So, if you want to put your tournament experience on losing to only... This is how I'm playing today. I'm going to lose to Fualos. There are three Fualos to my one call card. But then I'm just going to set the barrier or simul Arch Fiends if they're that that it obliterates. Don't do it. I could have also dropped what's not there. This is roughly when I was doing the deck. I did that I dropped what's good. If you don't want to lose the, the like the stuff like that. Like, I'm just gonna do it now, right? There's just no answer. He's gonna wanna put that back. I don't care. I like this one. This all three on top camp, which I've got the one. So you can ask TB eleven. Champ now, huh? And he did! What? You have a lord! 
What the? Oh, you're a multiple regional top player. You're the best player on the planet. What, what the? What? You have Dormas and why are you going on something Dormas have Spallure? Oh my god. Bro, I don't even know what to say about that. Bro, bro. games and games is a cool name. Okay. Bro, that was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. My bad, Mr. Regional Top Champion. I need to put a second SP. Bro, you need to practice. That's what you need. The Terran's board loses too hard to drop it. Bro, no, it doesn't. Oh my god. Bro, your, all your interrupts are later. It doesn't lose to droplet. Our deck doesn't care, bro. Oh my god. What do you guys think happened here? DB is unplayable. I gotta make some changes to the deck. A second SP. Say it how it is. Say it how it is. It's like, bro, DB is literally unplayable. I gotta make some changes to my deck. Three on his ass. He didn't allure a spell. I had a second SP as his change to the deck. My hand is engage. Sign at mining to fill the grave. Lightning storm first. Clear right Sign at mining. Put full, I got three spells. Engage, draw, thrust, I thrust, engage, malice, Oh, engage is running me three times. And I let him fall. Oh, the best guy I can work my deck. I destroy the shit talker. Assy Desi, you suck. <laughs> this is the deck list that I use. Currently, I'm going back and forth with playing Sign It Back or Sign It Mining. I want to play the wall. I've even tr tried playing other random cards like Cybers Extenders, but I do believe the deck helps. It helps when you get hit with Lancia, when you're able to play with Cybers Extenders. So, as you see, going second and first, this deck is unstoppable. The only things that it is, the problem is it's not decks. It destroys every matchup. Great matchup for everything. The problem of this deck is when you get hit with Lancia, and when you get hit with Drill. Those are the two inherent problems of this deck, and I'm going to include Fualos as well. When, you with, when I get with Fualos, I let them draw three or four times. And I simply end on an unbreakable board. That's what I do, but I have extra interruptions that I always get, which your decks might not. But through the draw power, I might search these. So through Fualos, I let them draw infinite, but I just dig through my deck for these, post side deck. Because mainly they're going to have Fualos post side deck. That's where you're going for your 5D barriers or your 5 Simon Archons to destroy the mirror match. So that's the way I try to build the deck to. Through Fualos, you're just drawing through your deck to get them, so that's not too much of a problem. I really don't care if you have 4 or 5 cards in hand or 6 cards in hand if I'm setting a D barrier against Ryzil with a negate to stop here, just in case they have cross up too. Then I kill them on my fault. Um, yeah, I'm still going back and forth with... I might even play 3 Mining and 2 Backdoor. This deck does have a slight Griffin problem, a little bit because they're just not enough Malice cards. So I'm debating maxing up on all of them. Backdoor, there's some cool plays where you can Link Climb into Cypress Monsters uh, and simply just search. Splash Mage requires two Cypress, but if you draw a Dotscape or even wait a Dotscaper in some way, whether it's Backdoor or Sign and Mining, let's say it's Sign and Mining, you could banish the spl Splash Mage, but you have to make Access Code. Access Code is very easy to make going second because you go fill your graveyard with spells, Shark Cannon and Link 3, summon any monster. Access code, banish, like pop, pop, pop. Sign at backdoor, add Malice, play Malice, full combo. So sign at backdoor is a way to get into this even without, like, with just spells. You can draw spells and get it. Allure is still so broken going second that, like, I always keep it because it's draw and extender. So yeah, that's a deck, hope you guys like it. I don't really like Cryptor, I'm gonna remove it, but it's okay. And that's the only changes at this list that you guys saw the other. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoy it. Get your Malice Wise Yield play match down below. If they're not sold out, I hope they're not. And I'll see you guys at YC Santa Let's go!